could not stand by and let this happen. When they read me whatever they read me and put a police tape up around me, I listened to four teams of chainsaws cutting trees down in various parts of my property. And I just sat up here and cried. Almost four years ago, we got a letter from Roanoke County saying that uh, a proposed pipeline was going to come through and it was looked like it was going to be on our, come through my property. It's been in my family for now seven generations. Apparently, they can come and take my property under the National Gas Act, which allows a private corporation to use the, the federal government's uh, power of intimate domain to take property to put something in. It's, it's hard to think that, that a private corporation can come and take something that's yours. I guess my wife was, you know, watch, we watch the news, we read the paper, we're worried about this pipeline. And she saw where the people were sitting in trees at the Jefferson National Forest. So she decided, along with my daughter, that they could do the same thing. The surveyors were coming through and they wanted to make sure that they, we didn't know when the, the tree cutters were coming behind them. So the tree stands were built put up in the trees, and on April 2nd, they went up in them. I'm hoping that maybe we can change a few things and actually make people look at what's going on around them. They think it's just the mountain water that's going to be affected. They don't realize that it's Red Oaks water, Salem's water, Smith Mountain Lake's water. Every, every water you know, around here is going to be affected. And pipelines leak and blow up. And this is going to be a buried one, so I don't know how they're going to check and ensure the integrity of it once it's in the ground to make sure it's still up to standards, I guess. They're putting profit before people. And anytime our government or a company, a private company, decides that they're more important than the people, oh, that's right. we have a problem with that. It's cold. Hey, well, tomorrow's supposed to be a little warmer. They're roughly maybe up the, maybe up in the uh, a half a mile apart from each other. Yeah. They can't, you can't see them from one from the other, but they're on two sides of a driveway. We were hoping yes. during, throughout yes. this we'd be able to get them more food, get them, you know, recharge their battery packs for them. But they've now, a week ago, they came in and pretty much noticed them that they were breaking, they were breaking a federal court order and put police tape around it and declared it an act of crime scene and cut off all resupply to them from us and Roanoke County police who, you know, they've said they would, they would give them whatever they need as long as they come down. And then they, but if they come down, they'll be arrested. So they're just going to stay up in the trees as long as they can. How do you get your food? They're not letting me have any more food. So I brought up a whole bunch with me. They have cut off my water and my food. Wait, what do you have for water? I'm hoping it ends soon, but both those, my wife and my daughter, are fully prepared to be up there for the long run. They're there to stay, they're there to fight this thing, and I'm there to support them in any way I can. I love you. Love you too. Yeah.